you may have noticed our bug f***ing insane go live notification. You may have noticed the strange symbols at the bottom of the screen. Those are in what wingdings. What could those be? They're, they're in wingdings. Oh, I, wingdings. Who doesn't love wingdings? Me. I am so mad. Uh, all of the Photoshop options, like, would not give me a good symbol. Fine. <laughs> so, nice. wingdings. Today, we are going over cults, coups, and just generally bad choices. Your first yeah. one. Dropping out of college. Fuck. <laughs> there's, you know, I've there's had people say they're surprised I'm not a cult leader yet. And oh, I'm surprised too. I I am only not because I have a conscience. Yeah, <laughs> because like, I know how to manipulate people, but it feels bad in my in my heart area. <laughs> it hurts. It's a little tingy. Like ah, yeah, I don't. It's that. It's a little bit of like worldly taint that everyone's just kind of used to, and I actively rail against. Yeah. Fuck you, Scientology. Come at me. Mason has told me many times when I've I've visited LA. He wants to go to the like celebrity one where they have people outside of the Scientology, the Scientology castle, and I want to lay siege. <laughs> well, you also wanted to see if you could talk to one and convince them to break away. I just want to break them. I think you misunderstood <laughs> what I was saying. Oh, okay. You want to break? Them. I just want to make their life bad. That's all. I I hate them. You know why I hate them? I don't know if I've ever explained this. I. I fucking hate Scientology because they follow a shit writer who they they need... They could have picked anyone, and they picked fucking L. Ron Hubbard, who sucked. Hey, His books oh. are bad. I don't know. The only one that ever got any popularity was Dianetics, and they formed a religion around it. <laughs> All the others awesome. were bad. Like, Jake. you... You could have picked Lovecraft. There are so many amazing things that you could have gone with there, minus all the racial purity stuff. Which <laughs> which leads me right into the Celestial Tea Cult. Did you guys Great know flavor. that Celestial Seasonings, the brand that makes, uh, they, they make these teas. You know, the ones you get them at fucking Walmart. They're everywhere. I have some that I didn't buy. I don't really know where they came from, but they're in my house, so I own them, apparently. They show up. <laughs> Celestial Seasonings has a cult around it. And it's... What the fuck? It's... A, it's yeah, it's weird. In 1969? Ha, nice. So they were founded in 1969 by Mo Siegel, who was a flower child. And a hiker, and his main thing is he would wander the Rocky Mountains gathering herbs to turn into teas, which he would then sell to local shops. There is a, how many pages? 2,095 page book called the Uran, Urantia, Urantia, Urantia. And you read it front, to, front and back. I, I honestly, <laughs> okay, so I wanted to buy this book. I uh -huh. thought about buying this book. Ooh. I didn't buy this book because I don't want to give money <laughs> to a bunch of racist flower uh, children. It's literally okay. two things I dislike greatly. Racist and flower children. Fuck hippies. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. Fuck a hippie. Not yeah. like in a fun way, though. Like, fuck them. That kind of way. You dress like half like a hippie sometimes. Yeah. But see, that's the thing. <laughs> I'm also not annoying. I also have a garden. And you know what? I shut the fuck up about it. I don't have to tell people how good of a person I am for having be safe flowers and pesticides. I'm not an idiot. I know we need them. Over the course of the years, they have edited the book. They, they've made it more um, friendly to the general populace <laughs> who doesn't think black people are the worst thing. It claims to be a transmission of extraterrestrial wisdom, which... It was written by a person, so that's not true. Uh, the claim is that the person was in some kind of hypnotic state and was channeling an alien thought, which this is very like Lovecraft at this point. It's very <laughs> much like I was dreaming and then Dread Cthulhu told me that black people are the worst. <laughs> 
If Lovecraft was focused distinctly on teeth. It actually identifies the followers as cult members, which I appreciate the forwardness. I appreciate honest cults. The book was most likely written by a Chicago physician and student of Freud named William Sadler, who had already been involved in other cults. So he'd previously written a book debunking paranormal claims, despite writing a book on paranormal claims. Uh, Just to fuck himself, I guess? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> It was proven later on that the book was plagiarized from a bunch of other texts. Really? <laughs> which I love that he didn't even change it. He wasn't creative enough to change it like every high schooler has changed their papers over the course of, like, history. It's like, uh, we found a Cthulhu in here, bud. I think we, we you're cheating. He was born in Indiana. <laughs> was he? 1875, he was born in Spencer, Indiana. So he's one of our... All right, Spencer, we're fucking calling you out. Fuck you, Spencer. <laughs> Fuck you, Spencer, Indiana, and your bitch ass having a real person's name name. You and your gifts. You and your... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so the Urantia book claims there are at least... Or there are six human races. You guys ready for this? Because it's, it's going to be Wait. as bad as you think it is. Wait, what? <laughs> it claims that there are six human races. They are all colors. But like Blood. we know we know who the orange people are, Trump. <laughs> I'll call you out now. You're not president anymore, asshole. The orange man apparently was had a peculiar urge to build. <gasps> like walls. <laughs> Oh my god, it fits so well. Okay, then we got the blue man. Oh, I know, so I think this might have been the white people. Were the blue man just really good at playing weird music? <laughs> and throwing marshmallows in the mouth, baby. <laughs> he says that illness is caused by evil. <laughs> Not germs, by evil. It's because you got the evil in you. So uh, doctors are just wizards that are fixing <laughs> that shit, or by like clerics, he's, I guess. He's a full believer in 1800s medicine most <laughs> in your blood dude cut uh, off his legs so <laughs> cut off his legs give him cocaine so the duggar cult is a famous fundamentalist cult their name is the institute in basic life principles mm. you want to know who the family dad's name is yes it's exactly who you, what you think jim bob if that was the name of my cult leader, I'm fucking I'd out. Fucking, yeah, I'd fucking name. leave the minute, no matter how desperate I am for people to fucking give a shit about me. If I go into a fucking cult meeting and the guy's name is goddamn Jim Bob, I'm out that motherfucker. There is no way I'm staying. Like, there's no good speech you can say and be like, the powers of the almighty have all circled and surrounded our good leader, Jim, Bob, Jim Bob. And he served on company boards such as fucking Whole Foods and Annie's. Pretzels? No, I'd maybe. I know they make soups, I'm pretty sure, and, like, pastas. Because, like, if Annie's Pretzels is about eugenics, yeah, maybe I'll give eugenics a go. But this... Annie's Pretzels... <laughs> The best case scenario is that your sleepy time tea comes with an inspirational tea tag that was derived uh, from a racist eugenics books written by aliens. Honestly, okay. I would join the well, shit out of a Steve Irwin cult that is just liking animals more than people because I already do that. This one is about an end times cat cult that no. feels that the cats are divine creatures that are going to carry, uh, that at the apocalypse, are going to carry... 144,000 souls mentioned the 144,000 souls mentioned in the book of Revelation to fucking the beyond. Cheryl Walker is her name with with, with an S, that's not a, a C. That's such a cool fucking name. Cheryl Walker. Cheryl Walker. Her uh, holy name is Ruthven. Yeah, it's Reverend Cheryl Ruthven. Which yeah. is less cool than Cheryl Walker. What the fuck? You sound like a badass cowboy with Cheryl Walker. You sound like a fucking bird. I like the idea that these cats are going to carry anything. Have you ever seen a cat carry anything that wasn't like... They'll fucking mouse? knock you out. Yeah. Like, they'll they'll, they'll fucking roll like, your nah. soul around on the ground and bat it. Yeah, if you pet it wrong, you, it just drops your soul. <laughs> what makes me laugh is the w where she found out about this was through um, a Walmart. 
There is a business card posted on a bulletin board. Do you guys ever notice that there are just missing person posters in Walmart? There are? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> if you really weird. If you leave the checkout and you like on your you're walking out and you're by like the bathrooms up front. Look at the wall. There's usually a bulletin board and 90% of that bulletin board like where I would expect them to have posted this business card is missing persons. Do you think they give like a discount to missing people? <clears throat> They're like, I'm missing. Do I get a discount, we'll please? We'll give you a $7 Walmart gift card if you can bring now one of these people to the captivity. local Walmart and then make them work here. Like the missing people are actually <laughs> missing people are just like warehouse workers. Yeah. They're like, we haven't seen uh, Jane in like three days for her shift. Has anyone seen her? Because she has to get back. <laughs> she said she is... She, she is the reincarnated Mary Magdalene. Who the? F Mary Magdalene, sometimes called Mary of Magdala, or simply the Magdalene, which, like, man, what a fucking name to get. Just like, uh, she was. Oh, oh she's she the was the whore. That came out whore, wrong. Yeah. No, no, but that's that. That was like what everyone called her because they didn't want to fucking that show. Just, that came out so much worse than I wanted to do. <laughs> Ah, she's that fucking oh, whore. It's the whore. Look, look at you, you fucking whore. But can I just appreciate that her nickname was the Magdalene? <laughs> That's a great name. I was dating a girl in high school who I'm not going to name, but you know exactly who it is. Mm -hmm. uh, she, Mary Magdalene. Yeah, the Mag, as I called her. <laughs> I'm a godless heathen 90% of the time. I kind of just do whatever I want. <laughs> I, I imagine a priest going into like a... Like a, a Walmart a, liquor section like Walmart and hitting the button. <laughs> He's got like four fucking bottles in his cart just going up to the Look, front. Like, I promise only three of these are for me. It's like, if I... If I... Uh, if I pray for you, will I get a discount? <laughs> Dear God, please forgive us for all of our fuck-ups this entire week, which is all we did was fuck it up, because we're not good enough to live or breathe. We should all just die, right now, because Jesus fuck, and we can't do anything right. But like, if my grandmother asked me, like, hey, will you come to church with us? Yeah. I'll put on a fucking three-piece suit and walk in and be the most dapper motherfucker in there. But you've seen that suit and everything. Yeah. That's what I wore, because that's the only suit that fits me anymore, is my all- black suit <laughs> you're looking like Satan I walked in looking like a fucking necromancer <laughs> and like those blue sunglasses are my only sunglasses so I fucking walked in on Easter Sunday and you're so pale I know and it was Easter so it's not like I had time outside before this like, it was still cold. It was just warm enough for me to not wear, like, an overcoat or something. So I walk in in these blue sunglasses, this old-school-looking suit. The only thing I could change to make it look less like I am here to raise the dead that's buried under the church is I changed my tie to, like, a like a lavender color. Because I, I consider myself raised Catholic, not Catholic. Uh, I always made the joke that you can always tell the difference because Catholics are the ones that put the money in an envelope and, like... You know, lick it, kiss it to God. It's like always 20 bucks. And they like, you know, proudly put it in the bin. And then the raised Catholics always forget every fucking week that there's that time they give money to people. Throw like a quarter and, in. And, and they take like a dollar and we would fucking like wind it up so it looked like less than just one dollar. And you would make no eye contact and just throw it in the thing. <laughs> Funny stories from, from religion for me. For one, my first ever confession, because you have to do it once. I've only ever done it once, and I I told the dude, uh, without saying it, basically, that I was like, you know, I had looked at porn, which is a weird thing to look back and be like, I just told that dude that I was jerking it. Did you, like, uh, explain what kind? No, like, I didn't so go she bends far. over the couch, right? Father, you ever seen a prolapsed anus? <laughs> okay, okay, Father, it's confession time, so I'm fucking this girl, right? Just I'm gonna leave. need to pull up Urban Dictionary and Google some things from a priest so you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> One time I got yelled at because after I ate the wafer, I tried to pick it out of my teeth and they're like, you can't pick that out. I was like, what? I don't want Jesus staying in my mouth. Wow, that was a great highlight package, wasn't it? But really, there's about two hours and 45 minutes more of that stream up 
on Mason's Twitch account. You can check the whole replay there. And uh, you can check out both of our channels, twitch.tv slash creditorsgatezack and twitch.tv slash creditorsgatemason. We stream about five days a week, and you can see the schedules on there and on our Facebook and on our Twitter. Thanks for watching.